And now, from Glasgow... So hello, welcome to stage two of the AEC bus B-type. Um, it's going to be a nice simple stage today. Um, stage six is that we need to remove these two posts. Uh, if you remember in the last video, we, uh, we had to glue this in on stage, I believe it was stage four. And then stage five comes in on the side, which then adds the support to them. And I'm now on to stage six. I've let it dry for, let's say, a week. It hasn't been a week. You know that. It's been more like a day. But this is now set solid. Um, so I wouldn't actually advise doing stage six to straight after stage five. So as ever is a simple stage. Um, obviously, if we put these in uh, separately, we'd run the risk of not putting them in straight. So by having it all as one piece, it means they're in straight. And what we want to do is cut that post away. The only problem I have with cutting that post away, um, they're actually using a, a small razor saw to cut it away. I want to actually snip the pieces out. But I feel if we cut it, it might put pressure on the other side. We've already had some damage to the window here from the way that we've cut it. Um, and then I think there's a problem somewhere else which is going to be filled in. But we want to try and avoid that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my razor saw and I'm going to very gently cut it in the middle and you'll see that I'm holding it and there we go I was expecting to do that in a few cuts um, but it just did it in two swoops then I'm going to cut another section excellent so I've removed that piece there and then now what I can do is I can just chip away at that so I'll use my uh, trimmers and we'll just snip small amounts off and it's actually causing a lot of pressure on the, they've cut a little slit in there and that's where it wants to go and I'll just snip it away and by doing it this way with snips it actually minimizes the amount of sanding I want to do because I'm right handed I'm, I'm snipping in that way so to do the other side I want to turn it over and again I'm just gonna chip away a small piece at a time trying to do this so you can see it okay and there we go that's that piece chipped away and we haven't damaged anything we haven't pulled any bits off that we want to do now obviously there are two bars that we have to remove so we'll now do the same again with the second bar don't even think about the second bar until you've done the first bar now this is an extremely sharp razor short saw so it is cutting through it very efficiently and the wood is very soft it's great having a real soft wood but um, it does mean it's going to chip away easily so there's my little cut so when I cut there it's not going to put any pressure on there and uh, so what I'll do is I'll just snip away do you see there there's a piece falling off but because it's it's separated it's not done any damage anywhere else so just chip away small pieces of course it does mean that I have no waste wood that I, I've used that's usable but you know that's the way it is and then can you see through the window what I'm doing there obviously I can see from the angle that I'm sitting at it's just a case of if you can too okay and that is a nice easy stage six so what we'll do is we'll move on to stage seven and that will complete the video. 
Okay, so on to stage seven. And obviously what we need to do is we want to make this nice and smooth. We want to get rid of that little nub that we've got. So all we're going to do is we're going to use a file. Now, the instructions do ask you to use a needle file. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. I'm just going to use an emery board. Um, it's sort of just the right shape for us. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to work that backwards and forwards until it's all nice and smooth. If you want to uh, adjust, do it with a knife, you can, but and then finish it off with sandpaper, that's fine. But just focusing on those nubs, and then you know when it's done, because you'll see there that you've got, you see how the, it's been black from where the laser print, uh, laser cutting is. You're actually going to rub that laser, that burning mark away. And when it's all one colour, you know it's all nice and smooth. Um, don't, try not to go too side to side too much because obviously it's going to run the risk of pulling it out um, support it if you can it's a little bit awkward but nice and easy there you go that's one side done beautiful really happy with that look that's the before and that's the after so we'll just do the other side it almost seems not worthwhile to it really doesn't it because um and what I mean by that is we've been here, what, five, ten minutes? But isn't it nice to have a nice easy one sometimes? Right, now these emery boards, they are very, very good. But they are quite coarse. This is how I've managed to do this so quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some finer sandpaper. I can't remember what, what grade this is, but I know it's finer. So I'll just give that a quick rub over. Because what we don't want is when we come to paint it we don't want to see scratch marks because our paint's going to be nice and thin and it's going to show up any surface detail and then I'll just give a quick once or two just on the corners it's like almost a 45 degree angle I don't want to make a bevel but I just want to get rid of any potential splinters so there we go now so now the passengers can quite easily come in the back um, so let's have a quick summary on what we've done. We've been putting these pieces together. Um, as you see, it's a little bit rough in places. Um, I think that's just the way it is. Um, once we're ready to paint, I will prepare and I've got some filler on the way. So like you see there, the tab, it hasn't gone all the way flush. So what we'll do is we'll sand that bit and we'll look at any gaps and we'll make all of this look like one piece. Um, so you, you don't have to be an absolute pro. Um, you can always fix things later on. In fact, while I'm here, I'm actually going to sort this top bit out, which we will be doing later on anyway. But yeah, that, that's nice. I just I can see that um, it didn't feel rough, but I just wanted to go over it. So there we go, guys. That is this week's uh, video complete. We've just cut that little bit out. Now next week it looks like there's going to be quite a lot of sanding. Um, yeah, so we're going to be sanding bits on the side. Um, so we'll do that next week. And then there'll be a couple of small bits to glue in. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, so next week we'll be doing some more on it. So take care and have a lovely week. Thank you for watching.